Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to Beauty on the Down with Shay Shay. Today I am reviewing the Mayel Pomegranate and Honey line in AKA Palm and Honey. Because <laughs> nobody calls it Pomegranate and Honey. So I started out with a shampoo and I shampooed my hair and baby, baby, baby. I love the uh, shampoo. I love that I only have to use like three squirts and my whole head is shampooed and lathered and good. And you will see that from the clip that I'm inserting. And after that, I used the Palm and Honey Conditioner, and you also see a clip of that. So, this is what my hair looks like after the shampoo and conditioner. And I am going to be creating the same look that I used when I did my live with Monique Rodriguez, the founder and CEO of Myel Organics. And it turned out so wonderful, so I said, I'm going to do that again. So, if you want to see that, stay tuned. Alrighty you guys, welcome back. So, as you can see, I've already started shingling and twisting the back of my hair because you wouldn't be able to see that part. So I wanted to do a part on the side that you can actually see. Just to let you know, the Palm and Honey line was created for type 4 hair types and I do have type 4 hair. So Monique, aka Mo, told me to start out with plenty of water. So that's what I'm doing, saturating my hair with plenty of water and make sure i rub that in and i don't know if you can see that but my hair is already starting like this curl looks like i've already shingled and conditioned it it looks so good can you see this <laughs> i'm telling you these products are the bomb.com okay so let me make sure i turn so you can see so the first product i'm going to put in my hair is their leave-in conditioner and the one thing she stressed was to use her product okay don't be shy put some product on your hair in between every product i'm going to use my dimming to make sure that it is getting into the hair strands and look at that you guys look at that the next thing i'm going to use is my curl smoothie and once again i'm actually using the product okay i'm putting some product on my hair okay and i'm going to go in with my dimming look at those curls you guys <laughs> look at those curls <laughs> and then my last product that i'm going to go in with is the coal sculpting custard okay and i'm going to mesh that into my hair and make sure that it's in the roots all the way to the tips and i'm going to use my dimming brush now this method that i'm going to be using i'm going to call it my wash and go shingle twist out because i'm using more of a shingle and twist so i'm gonna call it like a shingle twirl twist out what should i call it you guys let me think about it so i'm shingling a little bit but i'm also finger coaling so we'll call it a wash and go shingle finger coal twist out <laughs> i don't know what is this you guys uh, what do you want to call it i don't care what you want to call it but look at that look at that curl okay it looks good i've been sitting here thinking what can i call this hairstyle but regardless this method is bomb.com and whenever i have some hair that's being disrespectful and not want to work right with me i just add a little bit more gel to that one okay i'm like oh you don't want to act right let's put a little bit more gel and i know my technique is not the best i'm still struggling with that arm twist and getting my hair to act right but you know i work it out you know i'm working it out so I just keep doing the same as and what she stressed and what I noticed that I'm doing now is that I need to start at the root slowly twist down and then once I get it down further than I can get it but my hair looks wonderful you guys I'm gonna turn so you can see it I'm starting at the root again and I'm twisting all the way down <laughs> and I struggle but it's okay because I'm going to keep going and at the end my hair is going to look great I'm gonna start at the root again gracious it's a struggle it's not easy getting a new technique down but look at that look at those curls you guys yes so i'll be back when i finish my whole head we're gonna keep make it quick okay be back 
Alrighty you guys, so I'm back. I am through with my hair. It is still wet. So I wanted to give you a full 360 of my hair and I know a lot of you out there struggle and don't know what type of hair you have so I found this picture I'm going to post it on the screen so you can try to figure out if you have type 3, type 4 or basically just break down even further what type of hair you have. So this product like I said is um, was created for type 4 hair. And I'm going to sit under the dryer and diffuse. I already have my blow dryer out and I'll be back so you can see my hair, what it looks like dry. And I just love my hair. I love the movement. Look at that. It looks good, doesn't it? Look at that. Ah, alrighty. So I'll be back when my hair is dry. Alrighty, you guys. So this is the final shot of my hair. It is 80% dry. Look at how well these products work on my type 4 hair. Look at this. Look at this. Alrighty, so I'm thanking Mo for my new technique. It is absolutely flawless. Okay, if you've stuck around this long, go ahead and click that subscribe button, the bell next to it, so you can get notified every time I upload a video because I will be reviewing these products again, but with a twist out. Don't forget to comment down below, have you used these products? And if you're interested in purchasing these products, I do have a code for you. You'll receive 15% off and I'll put that on the screen for you. And like always, thank you for watching Beauty on the Dial with Shay Shay. Boop!